What's up guys? Welcome back to Mac Farms. Today we're going to move some sawdust around in the barn. Uh, running a bit low. So first thing we're going to do is go put that bucket on the 885, the big scoop bucket. So let's check it out. So we used to be able to get sawdust. Uh, it was delivered by a dump truck and like a pup trailer. And that was pretty good because we could fill, you know, the barn with that and we wouldn't have any extra left over. Uh, it was kind of just the right amount basically. But anyway, then that truck stopped hauling and made a switch to a uh, fellow that hauls with a 53 foot walking floor trailer. You guys have seen that in previous videos. And it holds about twice as much as the dump truck did. So we had to find somewhere to kind of stockpile the sawdust. So we come up with this kind of ugly looking box thing uh, made out of plywood and uh, now we stockpile basically half the load uh, right here so then when we run out, uh, out in the barn out where the cows are and that we will just you know move it from here into there so that's what we're going to do today is basically just move this pile out into the freestyle where the cows and heifers and that are so you can see over there the black lines are the brisket boards and we kind of pile the sawdust up in that area all the way down the whole length of the barn. So that's where we keep most of the sawdust. There'll be some over in the far side as well. And we got a little bit to go down in that corner there for behind the small heifers. While we're in the barn here, you guys should meet this little guy, little black fella. He was born the other day, premature. You can see the size difference between the Hereford but the uh, Hereford's only a couple days older, maybe five days at the most. But yeah, he's a cute little fella. Well, yeah, he's been doing great. So, happy and healthy. Definitely a lot smaller.
had my rope pull off of the little uh, ramp thing. So I'm just going to attach that back on with a couple nails here. Well, we got the sawdust in the freestyle area done here this morning now, this afternoon. Uh, after have some lunch, we're just gonna throw some in front of the other uh, small heifers there. So, I'll see you guys after lunch. Hey guys, welcome back to after lunch. So, we're gonna put a couple of uh, scoops anyway in here. So, this is where we kind of keep the sawdust for the smaller heifers. Uh, it holds quite a bit and uh, lasts for a fair amount of time so we'll just come in the the door there you can see the brightness the door and uh, it's kind of a sharp turn there but we can make it happen so we'll put a few scoops there and uh, see how it goes That'll be the plan for this afternoon it's not all the sawdust that was up in that uh, boxed in area but it'll get us keep us going for a little while at least until maybe the the cows are out and it's a little handier to get you know sawdust moving around in the barn so anyway dad's coming with the load there now a scoop on the tractor so we'll uh, we'll see how he does it here So that's one scoop in, as you can see, not much to it. Uh, heifers don't mind it too, too bad. I mean, they're not really huge fans of it, but they don't mind it too bad. Let's move that bale up there against the uh, scraper unit out of the way. So, anyway, let's get a few more in here and then we should be good for at least a little while.
All right, seems to be making a pretty good pile. We're gonna do one more scoop and then call her good, I think. Not sure if I ever showed or talked about this little guy, but uh, this is a steer, Hereford, Hereford Holstein Cross, obviously, I guess, because it was born from one of the cows here, but keeping this little fella around, he's been uh, castrated and dehorned. He actually was starting to grow horns. And uh, yeah, keeping them for burgers and steaks and all that good stuff. Hey, little buddy. So now that we got that sawdust and we're going to switch back from the scoop bucket to the bale probe and we're going to put a few bales of hay in here. Uh, the reason we didn't do putting the hay in before is because it would have been in the way for getting the sawdust in and out. So we're going to do that right now. What do you think? You eat those yourself? Or are you gonna share? I think they'd rather if you shared. Better not eat them all yourself. That's the hay done. Put the DD5 away. And that'll pretty well be a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>